third of them doesn't have a sixth and a sixth that are outside. It should have two numbers on the outside of the standard deviation. One standard deviation, but it ought to have four in all, but it only has two. So this must be electrocurtic distribution. Those are the kinds of things that we ought to be able to look at and tell because we know what mean and standard deviation and a normal distribution tells us. Uh, just a reminder then, because you're going to see it again. How do you figure out, given a mean and a standard deviation, how do you, what do you do first to figure out who scored above and below some number? So first thing you do. Huh? You're given the mean. You're given the mean. Given the mean. So you just put a standard deviation to either side. Okay. Either side of what? Of the mean. Okay, so, so I, mean. here, I'm, I'm going to do that. Okay. But I'm going to do that. Right? You've got to tell me more than that. <laughs> no. Here's the mean. And there's the standard deviation is 10. <laughs> now, how many scored between 70 and 90? I don't know. What do I have to do? In addition to that, even before I do that, what should I do? What are we assuming? How are we assuming these data are distributed? Evenly. Normally. They're distributed normally. And mesocurtotically. So what, and, and normally is mesocurtotically. So what's the first thing that I do? Draw. The distribution. Draw a bell-shaped curve and label it. Called it closure fringe. There's the mean. There's one standard deviation. There's two standard deviations. Now, what's the next thing that I do? Before I even put these numbers down here. <laughs> I write the percentage. Write the percentage. There's 34% in here. How much is in here? 34% in here. How much is in here? 13 and a half. How many is in here? 13 and a half. And how many is in here? 2.5. That's what you got to do every dead dumb time. If you don't do it, you'll miss it. Sometimes if you do it, you miss it. I, if you do miss it, it's because you can't add. It's not because you don't. You know, if you scored a 90 and that was one standard deviation above the mean, how many scored less than you? What percentage? 84%. How do you know 84%? It's 13.5 and 2.5 added together. It's 16% out there above, so it must have been 84 below. If you don't like it like that, then add this 34. How much is below there? 50. It must be 50%. It's normally distributed. It's the median. So it's half of that. So it's 84% either way you go. And you, you just can't miss that. You've got to know that. You've got to figure that. You've got to, you've got to understand that. If you don't begin to understand that, you'll... you'll Everything else in inferential statistics will be a blur to you. Okay? Especially when we get out here at two standard deviations from the mean. Because how many scored above and below, what percentage scored above and below cumulatively? Above Two standard deviation and below one standard, two standard deviation. Five percent. Five percent is a magical number. That's how we. That's how much of an error we're willing to make. We're willing to be wrong five percent of the time. We want to be right ninety-five percent of the time. And so we've got to know what's in that ninety-five percent. That's what we'll look at after our long needed break. Okay. Yeah, we break and yeah.
mess with these data. Mess with them on the back. Okay? It's, 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 uh, no, that's not your homework. Oh, that's what you know.